Yes. Yes. Okay, today we're going to teach your dog how to wipe their paws. And as a follow-up, we're going to teach them how to actually grind their nails down on a scratch board. So this way, it takes all the choice into the dog's <laughs> options. And Bishop here is going to actually help us out to show you how easy it is. Because honestly, most dogs would like to have a choice. They don't want to be held down or use a Dremel or clippers or be taken somewhere that they don't know and have somebody else do their nails for them. So here's how it's going to go. We're going to set this towel down on the ground. I'm going to put some tasty treats underneath it. And the moment I get any kind of paw action from Bishop, I'm going to say yes, and I'm either going to give him the treat from underneath or I'm going to toss it away so he has to come back and try again. Now let me tell you, I did this once with him, and he's brilliant. He did it right away. So it's not going to always look like that for you, but be patient. Any kind of paw action on this towel gets him a yes or a click, if you want to use a clicker, and a treat away. So let me show you how. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need one dog. You're going to need a towel, preferably a hand towel, and some amazing treats, whatever your dog loves, and a clicker, or just use a verbal marker like yes. Hey, Bishop. Bishop, good boy. So I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to show him that there's a goodie underneath. And remember, any kind of paw action towards it gets yes. Gets a yes, or a click, and a treat. Yes. And I told you, he's really good at this, so he makes it look super easy. Yes. And I'm being specific because we're going to have to scratch a target board. Yes, good boy. After this. So scratching the ground just doesn't count. Yes. Yes. Oh, and we'll take either paw. Okay, take a break. We'll keep it really short so he's excited to do this. Ooh, lots of treats. Excited to do this again for us in a moment. <laughs> All right, so once your dog is reliably scratching at the towel, you're ready to get the next piece of equipment. You can make whatever type of scratch board you want. I just use a basic piece of wood and some low grit sandpaper so it's not too horrible on their um, feet. And then I just put a rubber band. You could use anything, anything that has the sandpaper attached to it. So we could staple it if we were handy. You can use a clipboard and tape it all the way around. But you just need something that they'll try. And even a large dog, this can work because they have to target it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover with the towel first to make sure that works before we actually put him on the sandpaper. Bishop Charles. So again, any paw action on this gets him a yes or a click and a treat away to reset him. He is very focused right now. And like I said, he hadn't done this before this training. He is amazing at it. And I'll show you. So I'm just gonna point a little bit to help him see. Yes. He tends to be right pawed. Yes. And he would probably do better with a bigger target. Yes. Right, so he's rocking it out. So then what I'll do is I'll pick it up and I'll expose a little bit of the sandpaper so that he gets a little bit of feeling for it. He tends to be a little nervous. So I want to make sure we go at his pace as well. Yes. And he says, oh, I do this now. Yes, and we'll take anything. Any interaction with this gets him a yes, yes, and a treat. Yes. And again, he's going to lift up his paw pad so he doesn't hurt his paw pad and get his yes, and get his nails. And I can see they're shaving, yes, shaving down a little bit. Great. And you want to keep it short again, leaving them wanting more? Yes, good boy, that's right. Um, so that it's still fun each time and they won't quick themselves. So we're going to play around for the, a little while with this because he's so good at it. And then we're going to come back and we're going to show you his amazing nails. All right. So because Bishop's done really well, we're going to use the whole board and uh, then we'll show you what his paws look like. If your dog tends to be right pawed and they're offering a lot of right, then go back to the towel and really focus on left or vice versa so that you don't have one paw super nice and, and ground down and the other one crazy long, right? So go back. It's always okay to go back when you're trained. Yes. Yes. And again, the tossing away is letting him reset and come back to it. Yes. And keeping my board from being too horrible. Yes. 
And he's right pawed, so he's one that we might go back and use, yes, <laughs> and use the towel. Yes. Yes. And he means it. Yes. Yes. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a close-up. Hey, Bishop, will you sit for me? We're not just staying. And we're going to take a picture of looking at his right paw, which he's better at. You can see how ground those are. And then, if you look at the left paw, he's only done a couple of strokes on that side. It's not his preference. And you can see the major difference in the two. And we'll also include a photo of the complete before. So, have fun with your dog. Teach them ways to do things that you don't have to force them. You don't have to corner them or put them in muzzles and give them the choice to do that because look how much fun they have. So, have fun and if you have any questions, post them in the comments below.